infidelity it depends on the negotiations that take place it depends love your glasses uh it depends depends on if the two of you are willing to work to overcome this really depends really depends but with a serial cheater no never never with a serial cheater are you gonna kiss me or not hello loves hello hello happy saturday Happy Saturday, we're trying this again. How to get over someone I've never dated um, after three years. If you need to get over a heartbreak, you're, you're yearning, yearning, you're pining, you're aching, uh, Come Back Queen is the book that is gonna rearrange you and get your emotions back on track, help you do some healing that you need to do so that you can get out there and go find your partner. Oh, good luck with your psychology exam. Hello, happy Saturday. Hello, thank you for that. Thank you for the rose. Thank you for the roses, Melissa. Melissa Cherry Bone. How long is too long to stay in a relationship with no settling down direction? Um, when did you guys negotiate? What was the conversation that you had before you kissed about your fundamental values and your goals and your timelines? I don't want to find a partner... Uh, I want to recover. Yeah, so recover. That's what Comeback Queen is for. Um, so uh, how long is too long to stay in a relationship with no settling down direction? Also, you, you want to have a conflict-free relationship, right? Like it's, it's really kind of not fair to have a relationship that's very uh, conflicted, lots of fighting, and say, hey, it's time for us to move in together. Hey, it's time for us to get engaged. Well, nobody wants to settle down with conflict. So, um, you know, fix the relationship if there are any issues that need to be fixed. And then you have a leg to stand on when it comes to, hey, it's time for us to move forward. Like, what's going on? How do you start what's lovely? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Love from Spain. Hello. Hello, lovely. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. How do you forgive and let go of past after arguing a lot? Uh, so Fix That Shit is a book that's going to help you uh, be in the moment, be present in the moment, and release resentment. Uh, so if you want to do that, stop the conflict, stop the fighting, stop the resentment, be in the moment, be appreciative, be happy, then Fix That Shit is a book that's going to help you with that. Do you think stereotypes have kept alive due to media and misinformation? Uh, so, of course, of course, right? And like everybody else is doing it, right? Uh, this, this, the stereotype that the way that we date is to kiss to see where it goes. In other words, get into a relationship with a stranger, hope for the best, hope it works out, hope they're great, hope they're what I need, um, instead of see where it goes and kiss the right one. Right? We see shows like The Bachelor. It's all about getting that kiss. Ooh, I hope I get the kiss. I don't care if he's kissing five other girls, seven other girls, eight other girls. I want to get that kiss, right? So there's this, this, this misinformation that the kiss is where it's at. It's not where it's at. It's information. It's knowledge is where it's at. Knowing who the person is and then committing to them with a kiss and starting a committed long-term relationship. By the way, playtime is fun. Go have your playtime, but don't choose a long-term relationship the same way you choose a playtime. Playtime is, am I attracted to them and do I trust them? Let's go. When it comes to a committed long-term relationship, do they have integrity? Are they financially responsible? Are they hardworking? Are they caring? Are they kind? Are they thoughtful? Are they patient? Can they sacrifice one marshmallow today for two marshmallows tomorrow? Do they share my fundamental values, my goals and timelines? There's so much more you need to know before you get into a committed relationship, right? logically when you think about it. So this misinformation that the way to get into a committed long-term relationship is the same way you start a hookup is bullshit and that needs to be undone. I wanna get one of your books. Which one is best for getting over a narcissist ex? Uh, Comeback Queen 
to heal your heart and then no more assholes to make sure you don't end up with somebody like that again. I've been with somebody for three months who says he cares but doesn't want to commit. Um, so you've been a booty call for three months. Uh, you've been a booty call for three months. You've been a booty call for three months. Do you want a relationship? Then you need to end the booty call. You need to say to him, this is fun, but I'm done my playtime. I want a relationship. So I need to leave this behind so that I can find the person who does want a relationship. Use that no kissing for three months dating rule. Stop being a booty call and then being told you've just been a booty call when you say it's time to start a relationship. Uh, book for men. Yes, I got the perfect play for you. This is a book for single men to help you get into relationship with a generous long-term thinker. Find your woman. No more girls. No more selfish short-term thinkers. No more, no more girls. No more selfish short-term thinkers. No more users. No more takers. You're welcome. Uh, do you think that dating courses to get a sincere welcome? Uh, do you think that dating courses to get a sincere relationship is making the good people to be bad? I guess it depends who you talk to. Do -do -do -do. Hello, lovely Caitlin. Uh, I'm not a priority in his life. How do you move on? If you need to uh, end a relationship with somebody, move on. You can get comeback queen if your heart really hurts, um, if you're if you're really pining for them. Uh, and then when you're ready to get into your next relationship, it's no more assholes. Six-year relationship, still feel like I'm forcing him to settle down. I think I just answered your, your DM. I think I just made a TikTok for you. Uh, did you send me a DM, lovely? Do -do. How to not be so nervous for a first date. Um, you can do some meditation. You can go for a walk, release some steam before it. Yes. Okay. So, so lovely here. A six-year relationship. Feel like I'm forcing him to settle down. Every time you bring it up, he pushes back. He says, I feel like you're rushing this. My advice to you, dump the motherfucker. You need to be in a relationship with somebody who wants to build a life with you. If 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 there's been all kinds of conflict, all kinds of fighting, then you know you would need to fix the fighting before somebody wants to settle down because nobody wants to marry conflict, right? Nobody wants to marry fights. Um, but you know, and you can negotiate that with them. Like, say, what is your hesitation? What is what is holding you back? Why don't you want to take the next step? And if he's like, because we're fighting so much, that's logical. That's a logical thing to say. So get fixed that shit if he's a generous long-term thinker who loves you. If he's a selfish short-term thinker, and listen, if you don't know if he's a selfish short-term thinker or generous long-term thinker, come get a coaching session or get no more assholes. Look at the 12 character traits in there and grade his paper. He needs to pass. He needs to pass the 12 character traits if you're going to build a healthy life with this person. Um, but don't be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't want to build a life with you. This is so convenient. I get to do what I want. I get to get to have my space. I get to not live with somebody. I get to not be responsible for someone. Um, right. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have to do anything except what I want to do. He, he prefers to be single getting his booty call. So, you know, don't don't be so convenient, my love. If you want to be in a relationship with somebody who wants to build a life with you and this one doesn't want to do that, then say, hey, I need to find the person who does want to build a life with me. And since that's not you, I need to go find that person. If you leave this relationship, use a no kissing for three months dating rule. Have those conversations about what your fundamental values are before you kiss. I want to get married. This is my timeline. I want to buy a house. This is my timeline get those timelines on the table those goals those fundamental values and know if the two of you are on the same page before you kiss and get into a relationship because you may have gotten into a relationship with somebody who doesn't want to get married and that's why he pushes it off doesn't want to live with somebody that's why he pushes it off so you may have gotten into a relationship with a complete mismatch Almost 90% of women I dated don't believe my integrity due to bad guys faking sincerity. So use that no kissing for three months dating role and find the one who's not vomiting her past into her present. X says, I'm obsessed and psycho, but he was always the one who would reach out. 
block the motherfucker. Says, current, why are you talking to your ex who's calling you a psycho and obsessed and he's the dick? Why have, why, why isn't he, why, I need, I need to know in the comments, why isn't he blocked? I need come back queen. Yes, lovely. Nice glasses. Thank you. Where's a good place to meet high quality men? I work from home, so rely on dating apps. Dating apps is the way to go. Oh, hell yeah. We need the bell. I just left my one-year relationship with a man-child mama's boy whose mom is a narcissist. Good girl. Good girl. We got the freedom bell. We do the freedom bell. Yes. Smart. 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 Best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. You just saved yourself. How much grief? How many years would you have stayed in this? Jenna, thank you for the rose. Love your glasses. Where did you get them? I got them on Amazon. Uh, they are the blue blocking. It's supposed to block that blue light that you get off electrical devices. Uh, I felt he was the one due to our connection, right? But obviously he's not. So block him. Stop giving him access. Stop letting him pull you down. Stop letting him step on you to elevate himself. Stop letting him interrupt your good days. Stop letting him interrupt your evolution. Stop letting him interrupt your growth. It's time to be done. What should I write in a bio of a dating app? Uh, be positive. State who you are. Say something funny to make them smile. Um, be concise. Use few words because men are looking for a novel. They just want an idea. So that's your starting point. If you want help writing your bio, then come get a coaching session. I do that all the time. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Are you gonna kiss me or not? Do, 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 do. How to break up with someone who might hit me? not face to face, uh, get somewhere safe and send them a text message or an email telling them it's over and never see them again. What's your book about? I have nine. Are your glasses prescription? No, just for phone light. Um, so, uh, I have nine books. So though, okay. Those of you who want a notification when I go live, click my picture up here once or twice, you're going to get a pop-up in the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell. When you do that, say, I just did. Who wants me to do a book run through? Book run through. Who wants me to give a brief description of what each of my books are about? Do, 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 do. That's what I'm gonna do, good girl. Stay safe. Uh, I just got divorced in April after 10 years, living my best life. Woo! We got the freedom bell. Yes, living my best life. I love that. Love that. Do 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 do. Descriptions. Yes, yes, descriptions. Uh, book walk through, yes. Uh, pretty soon you'll be writing so many books you won't be able to hold them all. Seriously, like this, this is it. I'm maxed. I'm maxed, you guys. When I release my tenth book, uh, which is in August, I I'm gonna need two hands. I'm gonna need two hands. Do they work for light? Light? Oh, like like my ring lights, that kind of thing. I don't know. I hope so. Um, I'm trying to save my eyeballs, like literally trying to save my eyesight. I wake up in the, cause I, like I use light so much. I wake up in the morning and my vision is like really fucked up until my cones <laughs> rearrange. Um, are my books on audible? No, I do have an audio book, which is fix that shit. You can only get it through the link tree in my bio. It's not on audible because audible wants over 70% of the proceeds from every sale and no fucking way. Uh, just started comeback queen, finishing up a divorce right now. Lovely. I'm on your side. Okay, let's do a quick one through what each of my books are about. Really brief description about what each of the books are. 
So Comeback Queen is a book that helps you after a breakup, a divorce, if you're perning, perning? If you're yearning, if you're pining, if you're hurting, this is the book that helps you heal your heart. Uh, then you're gonna move on to No More Assholes and find your next partner. This is gonna help you make sure the next one is the right one. No more bouncing in and out of relationships, no more selfish short-term thinkers, no more assholes. Um, find the right one. 70% 70, 70 is ridiculous and it's over 70%. Men, this is your version of No More Assholes. Oh, you helped me help my sister's marriage. I want a story, what happened? Just a little brief description. Uh, men, this is your version of No More Assholes. This is the book that's gonna help you find a generous long-term thinking woman, no more users, no more takers. Uh, ladies, after the first kiss is gonna help you solidify your new relationship, transitioning from courtship to reality with as little insecurity as possible because you understand the shifts and changes that are going to take place when you do so. Then you're gonna move on to fix that shit and stop any fights that are going on in your relationship. Guys, if there's any conflict, any fighting, and you're with a generous long-term thinker who loves you because you are so smart, um, and you do what's in this book, you will have a super magical relationship because when you stop fighting, the love grows instead of being retracted and always having to start off at the same point again. Uh, custom made goes really well with fix that shit if you are codependent and making your partner your purpose. This answers two questions. What is my purpose and passion and how can I monetize it? Do start getting paid doing what you love. It is so super worth it. Um, seriously, you guys, I, I cannot stress enough how fun it is to get paid doing what you love. Dating 101. Uh, this is understanding the drives, behaviors, and emotions behind love. Parents get this for your teenagers. I don't swear in this book. Think, love me, not apply. How to avoid posers, losers, scammers, and predators. This is a free ebook in the link tree in my bio. Just hit the free book button. Her husband is a selfish short-term thinker and cheater and they're separating. Oh, lovely. Tell her I rang the freedom bell. That's right. That's right. Good stuff. She deserves better. She sure does. Uh, say yes to goodness. This is understanding the 10 steps to how to be a happier you by looking at the 10 areas of your life that affect you and how you should be navigating it to have the maximum amount of happiness possible. If you guys want to know which book you should read, there is a there is a what book is right for me quiz in the link tree in my bio. Uh, go check that out, and it's a twenty question quiz, yes or no, super fast, super easy, super fun. List all my books in the order that you want to read them in, even with a little percentage bar showing you how much you want to read each book. How do I go about my partner keeping something from me and forgiveness? It depends what it is. I would suggest a coaching session for that. Thank you, Licky Dogs. Any of these on Audible? None of them are on Audible because Audible wants to take over 70% of the proceeds from each sale. So, so Fix That Shit is an audio book, but you can only get it through the link tree in my bio. How much are my sessions? So it depends on what you get. Uh, if you're interested in a coaching session to gain some clarity, get a plan, understand what you should be doing, um, go to my bio, click on the link tree and click my coaching button. It takes you to a page, really read carefully what's on there, take a look at the options, see what is right for you. If you want to book yourself in, then go ahead and do that. Um, and just follow the three steps for booking yourself in for a session. Boyfriend and I going to the beach. That sounds really super lovely. Bonjour. Hi from Queensland, Australia. I love it. Hello. Good evening to you. Uh, as you experience your tomorrow, you guys are Sunday in Australia, which is so funny. I have an assistant in Australia. She goes, I'm tomorrow. <laughs> like, like that was the cutest thing I've ever heard someone say is I'm tomorrow. Uh, my ex broke up with me, slept with two girls, and now he wants to get back with me. Uh, I told him he had three months to improve. There you go. Me taking my dogs to throw her ball at the dog park. Licky dogs. That's awesome. Sunday morning, 3.30 a.m. And look at you. You're here with me. I feel so honored. Spending time with me instead of getting some sleep. Did you do some partying? Did you have some fun time? I 
her? What would happen? Do you? Oh. Did it? It's yeah. Hello, lovelies. Who wants a notification when I go live? Say I do. Do 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 do. No partying. Hello, happy Saturday. What keeps you up so late, lovely? Okay, those of you who want a notification when I go live, click my picture up here once or twice, you're gonna get a pop-up and the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that, say, I just did. I just did. <clears throat> Love your glasses, thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to save my eyesight by wearing glasses that block uh, supposedly the blue lights from all these devices that I use all the time. Did it! Love it! Welcome! Done! I love it! Welcome, welcome, welcome my loves. Welcome to the goodness. Uh-oh. How is our connection? Are we getting a good connection? Thoughts on ultimatums? Ultimatums is the word that people use when they don't want you to have boundaries. Oh, how dare you have an ultimatum? How dare you not want to do things my way? How dare you not give in to my timelines and my desires and my wants and the way I want to do things? How dare you say you don't like what I do and you might leave me if I continue doing that? How dare you have an ultimatum? Fuck that. Fuck that. It's a boundary. It's a standard. And if you don't like it, get the fuck out. Curious, do women as yourself in your field seek outside advice for relationships? So there are plenty of people in my field who should. Um, there are people in my field who are single, trying to teach other people how to get into a healthy, committed, long-term relationship when that's something they've never had themselves. So certainly there are people in my field who should be seeking the help they're trying to give. Yes, there are. Uh, your cheat sheet idea is genius. It helped me stay grounded. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Notifications on. Love it. Love it. Welcome. Welcome to the tribe. Do -do -do -do. What's this? Define this. Define this. Hey, what makes me an expert? Um, so besides having a background in sociology, psychology, anthropology, biology, behaviorism, I add spirituality to that, like meditation, mindfulness, um, manifesting what you want so that you recognize it when it's in front of you. Um, in addition to that educational background, my experience is yes, having chosen the wrong partners because I came from an abusive childhood. So certainly understanding the cycle of why we choose the wrong partners, also understanding why we are the wrong partners in a relationship when we don't have the right role models. Um, so in addition to my experience giving me the insight to understand what people are experiencing themselves, I've been in a relationship for 15 years. We are going to celebrate our 10th wedding anniversary in January. We have fought for 10 years. We haven't had a single fight in five years. So I understand how to stop making mistakes. I understand how to choose the right partner using a no kissing for three months dating rule. I understand how to stop fighting with that partner using meditation and controlling your impulses and recognizing goodness when you have it and being grateful for it and building a solid foundation of intimacy, love and support. Do, 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 do. I just got fixed that shit. Uh, do, 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 do. Thank you. What does it mean if you're not attracting anyone? It's is it because I don't want to? That I can't answer for you. 
because I don't know what you are doing. Do, 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 do. So if you want some help with your love life, I do suggest getting a coaching session so I can figure out what your blocks are and help you navigate them and change that around. Just gotta fix that shit. I think I need no more assholes. I'm afraid I need to dump my boyfriend. Ooh, lovely. Get no more assholes. Look at those, those 12 character traits and see how he grades on the 12 character traits. I'm reading no more assholes like a hurricane. I can't put the book down. Notes galore on my mirror. I love that. Love that. Love that. Do 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 do. I kissed my BFF, but I'm flirting with this other guy. There's no commitment from A, should I tell him? When you're not in a committed relationship, you don't owe anybody an explanation about what you choose to do. I will order no more assholes today. Thank you, you're so welcome, lovely. So super welcome. Ah, official. Thank you for that. What's this live about? Dating and relationship advice. Thank you so much. I've been feeling guilty and like I do owe him that explanation. No, my love, you're not in a relationship. You don't owe him anything. Uh, what is your point of view or advice on friends dating or hooking up with friends, exes, or flings? Um, so there's, you know, the danger that you're going to offend somebody who still has feelings for that other person. So I suggest you gauge the importance of your friendships and see if you're willing to sacrifice a friendship for, um, getting with this other person. So you have to weigh the pros and cons. For you, Paige, for real? Oh, we got you. We got you. I love your outfit with those glasses. Looking great as always. Thank you. Thank you. Very sweet. I look good for you guys. I do this for you, my loves. I do this. I do this for the ladies. I don't do it for the gentlemen. I do it for the ladies. I'm digging these glasses out. My husband doesn't like them. I don't care. I like them. I think they look cool. Hello, I was in a weird relationship. Can we talk about it? Uh, on a coaching session, yes, but um, I can't do a coaching session on a live, unfortunately. Uh, is it possible to get a signed copy of one of your books? It would be expensive because um, the cost of the book in a, like, like for, for me, the cost of the book would be $20. Um, and then the cost of the shipping, which would be, it could be like another $15. So uh, it would cost more to get a signed copy, I think. I told my friend about your books and your TikTok. She's hurt from a narcissist. I told her to run. Good, good, good. Send her my way. Should you message an ex if you randomly miss them and it's been three years? Nope. Uh, we appreciate you so much. Ah, oh, lovely. I love them. Thank you. Y'all like the glasses. You like the glasses. Do, 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 do. What is a narcissist like? A narcissist is somebody who doesn't care about anybody but themselves. That is a narcissist. What happened to the lighting? I, I got some colored lights. We don't like the colored lights. Do you guys like the colored lights? Boyfriend cheated on me. Should I give him a second chance? He seems remorseful and it's long distance. Um, so you, you, don't, you don't give a second chance without negotiating. What do you need in order to ease your imagination anytime you need it eased without his permission? <laughs> 